Hello friends, I'm Anissa and I'm back with another video and it's time for a Dewey's 24 hour readathon vlog. I've been looking forward to this all month. Um, it's the 29th of April and it's actually also my uncle's birthday. But since he hasn't invited me for a birthday or anything, I don't think it's gonna happen today. I have quite some plans because I'm a little bit behind on my own TBR but luckily they are all fairly short books that I have left. Um, but I do have 50 pages left of Maud by Tara Pratchett. It's not because I haven't been enjoying it. I've been savoring it. Every time I'm reading it, I'm just reading a couple of chapters. Uh, well, it doesn't have chapters, but a couple of passages. That's what I wanted to say. Um, but I have 50 pages left, so I'll definitely finish that as one of the first things. Um, after this is starting, it's actually 10 minutes before we are starting. But I'm just going to start once I'm done with this update, more or less. I have, I'm pretty much prepared. Another book that I have is uh, The Greek Doctors, The Greek Children's Doctor by Sarah Morgan. This is the second book in the Whistling series. Um, I really enjoyed the first one in this series and I, I like her writing style. It's very easy to digest and I read it pretty quickly last time. This one is 186 pages, so it should definitely be something I could read within the day. Um, um, before this day is over, but it, um, yeah, I don't know. We have, it's a little, uh, the, the text is a little smaller than, or the font is a little smaller than uh, Mort or the Tarpretti book, but. And the last book that I have of physical reading from my, from my TBR for the month is um, Who Could That Be At This Hour by Lemony Snicket or Daniel Handler. Um, this is the first book in all the wrong questions series. Um, this one is 256 pages, but the font is uh, pretty large comparison to everything else. Um, so I don't think that's going to take me very much, very long. And it also has illustrations along the way. And if I finish all those three books, I also have Lost in the Moment of and Found by Sianna Maguire, another very short book. And I don't know if I finish that, then I have a graphic novel. A graphic, I think I might find it already. Um, because I'm just thinking about all of the easy things to read, like that. Um, I have um, Descender Volume 4 um, to read, which is a, a sci fi graphic novel. And I really loved um, the first three volumes. Um, so that is the things that I'm going to work on first and then we'll see what happens. Depends a lot on what time it is when I'm done with that, if I can even manage it. I don't think I'm going to read constantly because I know that once I get around after dinner time, I might read another th couple of hours, another hour or something, whether that I, wanted, I would want to watch some TV kind of thing. But if I can read for all of the other hours, um, that would be fine. Yeah, um, very excited about the books that I have on my plate. And um, I think it's a good stack and a good variety and I have been in a fantasy mood so I'm happy to say that at least the Sean Maguire book will be a fantasy. So um, if I end up having to listen to some audio, I am halfway through Needful Things. I think 6 hours and 45 minutes and I have 5 hours and 53 minutes left. So a little over halfway. Uh, but the thing is that it expires from Storytel uh soon so i have to make sure that i stay keep making progress on it if i want to finish it it will be removed from the service by the 14th of may so i think it's it looks like it's a lot of books because it's also all of the um it's all it looks like it's all of salmon and schuster's books so i don't think they were able to renew their um contract with them sadly i think it's another thing that happened it happened some years ago with when penguin uh, pulled all of the books from their services so yeah that's a little sad but i can't really do anything about it but it, the most annoying thing is that one of the um the elemental assassin books that i'm reading for my stacking the series challenge they are simon schuster pocketbooks and so they will be removed by the 14th of May. Um, so I don't think I'll be able to finish my project unless I find them cheap somewhere. But I don't think they're 
the I don't think they're cheap necessarily so we'll see what ends up happening um, and the third thing is I've actually really really been enjoying my time reading them now so I was definitely looking forward to like diving into this world again like for real and um, yeah but that's what happens sometimes I've actually been really productive today because I started out being in the garden first in the front yard doing some stuff um, and then in my backyard I mowed the lawn and it was a lot of uh, it, it was bad I have to actually remove all there's so much moss in my backyard so I think um, I also had that in the front yard and that's what I've been doing but I don't have more room in the trailer that my parents came in and parked in my um, outside um, so I'm waiting around for it to be emptied so I can actually fill up a couple of it filled up again and um, I don't know maybe I'll actually get around to it tomorrow after I'm done with uh, Dewey's we'll see um, so I did that then I also cleaned here in the house I went grocery shopping so I'm I have everything I need and I uh, f put on a batch of laundry so everything is good to go I had lunch and so now I'm ready to read and not think about much else. Um, I'll have to run the uh, vacuumer, but uh, it's a robotic one. I've got that recently, so it, I don't have to do anything. I just have to make sure that it doesn't. Um, there's nothing in its in its way, more or less, and then get it started. Um, yeah. So but right now I'll be reading, and I'll be starting by finishing Mord. So. Happy reading, y'all, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hello, friends. It is now 6.15 or something, and I finished, obviously I finished um, the Discworld book. Um, it took me a little longer to finish that than I expected. Mainly, it took extra time uh, because I was tired. I kept almost falling asleep, so <laughs> it's not the good, best time for me to start, I think, because I've been doing so much since I came up. I, I woke up this morning uh, and when I finally sat down to actually relax I got a little bit tired but I managed to finish it and I enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it on the first read so very happy to see that it was still as good as I remembered um, and I'm now halfway into the Greek doctor the Greek children's doctor by Sarah Morgan. I really enjoyed the first one in the series. Um, I like Sarah Morgan's writing. She has a way of putting me into her romances uh, from the get-go and this is no different. There's a lot of sexual tension between the two characters which is a lot of fun. I'm halfway into that book now. It's 87 pages or something like that. Um, I mean it's a little under halfway I think. I think it would be about 90 something pages. Um, but I'm close to the halfway point at least. Um, and I started it around four, but I was watching a handball game at the same time. I didn't realize it was on, but I was sort of doing both. So I don't really as fast when I do that, but by now I'm just about to make some dinner. So just pop those in the oven. It's just small mini pizzas. I'm just going to make a salad that I'll get alongside and um, I guess that will be it. Um, so I'm enjoying the book by Sarah Morgan so far. It is, um, let's just take a look at it. This book is uh, following this uh, woman. She is uh, one of the West, she's like the, like one of the Westerling women. Um, she, yeah, they are triplets. So uh, the first book we, we follow Katie and this one we're following Libby or Elizabeth and um, yeah she has sworn off all men she doesn't want to date because she has had a, a terrible um, experiences with men in all over uh, and then we have uh, Andreas who is um, coming in to be a pediatric a doctor new doctor at the pediatrics ward um, where she's working as a nurse and um, she it starts out with them they're having a sort of auction and they can buy dates from someone and she is auctioned off to have a date she's very reluctantly up there she's very annoyed that uh, anyone would dare put her up there but 
um, she does it because she wants to help the the ward and ends up being then Andreas ends up bidding her for a date and um, yeah things go from there. It's a very fun. Um, as I said, there's a lot of sexual tension, but also a lot of cute moments happening with the kids here and um, it is obviously set on at a hospital so there's a lot of medical stuff happening and just as the first one like she has some knowledge and I believe I found out that she was uh, originally before she, before she became an author she was a nurse at the A&E in, in somewhere in England so I guess she knows her way around a hospital so it seemed very realistic. I just had to sometimes uh, look up like um, abbreviations to what where they were referred from because I'm not used to it. But I found out uh, after a while that it w what 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 those meant, so it was fine. Um, so I'm very happy to say that so far the book is a success, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to things happening in the last part here. Um, it won't be long, I think, until they start uh actually getting together in a way so yeah um so very happy to read this one and um also looking forward to the last one when we get around to it so i definitely know i think i'm gonna try and see if i will finish this one uh, tonight and then um i will see what time it is when i finish this and see when i pick up this one if i'll pick it up right after or if I'm going to wait around a little bit we will see what happens with that um, but yeah as I said right now I am cooking dinner and it's probably not going to take me too long it's um, it's just going to be heated and um, for like 15 minutes or something in the oven so yeah but this is my update for now I will check on social media right now and I'll see you later bye hello friends it's now 9 30 in the evening and I finished um, the Greek children's doctor by Sarah Morgan and very much enjoyed it. I don't know my ratings yet But it's definitely at least a four Maybe higher and um, I haven't decided I enjoyed it. It was just as fun as the first one um, and um, Hold on. I forgot what the last book in the series is called, but obviously it's going to follow the brother Alex um, So we now have they're called the Westerling. The first one was the Spanish consultant, then the next one was the Greek children's doctor, and now the English doctor's baby, and that will be Alex's. Um, yeah, but they're all like scared of romance and commitment and all of that. So, yeah, um, I'm definitely uh, excited to find more books by Sarah Morgan because I have just discovered that I really enjoy her writing. So, yeah. Um, right now I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I feel like taking a break from reading for a bit um, since it's 9 30. Um, I haven't had any chat any snacks this evening yet so that's what I'm gonna prepare right now. I have my boobies, chips and I have a bag of um, candy mix myself candy kind of thing. My favorite kind Obviously, because it's all things that I like. Hold on. Yeah, and that's what I'm gonna do now. And then I'm gonna find a soda. So I'll check in again once I have read something. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna check in right before bed. We'll see. I don't know yet. Right now, I feel like watching a little bit of TV. I started on a TV show called Manifest, which is a sort of sci-fi cop thriller thing and um i'm enjoying it and so i want to know, see uh, an episode or two of that before i go to bed um and since i haven't been watching any tv since i mean i was watching a little bit while i was eating because i can't focus on reading and eating at the same time and i also watched some handball while i was while i was reading so but otherwise i've just been reading so since 2 p 2 a.m. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. <laughs> anyway, see you later. Good morning, my friends. It is now Sunday. I woke up um, an hour ago, an hour and a half ago. Um, I started on a new book yesterday, but I only read four pages before I was so tired I fell asleep. 
So I decided I'm just going to sleep and then I'm going to see. Um, and now I'm halfway through this book. It's really, really, really fast. I think I read 75 pages an hour if, if that's even enough. Um, I'm pretty sure that I was about chapter 3 when I started and I was reading for 50 minutes. Hold on. So I started on page 35 and read up to page 119 in one 50, hour, 50 minute sprint. What is that? That is about 90 pages. So it's definitely relatively quick. I'm just gonna put you here while I am prepping my breakfast. I just made myself a coffee. Now I am. I have a breakfast roll here. I don't really eat that much for breakfast. Um, just gonna have Nutella on it. So. So far, I'm enjoying this book. It's a lot of fun. Mm. It is a mystery. Um, we have Lemony Snicket. Um, we're seeing it from his point of view. And um, he is um, becoming an apprentice for this private detective. Uh, but this private detective is really, really bad at what she's doing. So... Um, She's like number 52 out of 52 <laughs> chaperones. And um, come, I come, sir, come here. I'm just about to give my cat some food, even though she still has something. I just think that um, she usually gets dry food when I get my breakfast in the, in the weekends. I'm gonna get that very much because she hasn't been eating all of her wet food yet. <laughs> and my coffee. Um, but yeah, she, he, she's not a very good chaperone. Um, so whatever she's been trying to solve, the mysteries she's been solving, I don't think she's been solving them correctly, um, obviously. And um, yeah, so Lemony Snickers is trying to figure out things by, by himself. Um, so that's a lot of fun. So now I'm just going to be reading the on in this and uh, see when I'll finish it. I still have a, rel a relative long time uh, before 2 p.m. when this is over. So yeah, that's great. Anyway, I will get, I'll eat my breakfast and get back to you once I've finished uh, the book and let you know my final thoughts of it. See ya. Hello friends, it is now um, okay, 10.45, just had to, it was 10.30 when I finished this book, but I just had to change into my, into some other clothes and my night stuff, so I still haven't uh, done my hair, but um, it's fine. I finished Who Could That Be At This Hour uh, by Lemony Snicket, and it was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoy his uh, writing style when it comes to these kids' books. Um, he does the same. It's similar to what he does with his uh, series, of un series of unfortunate events books. Um, it was a fun mystery uh, following along um, with this and uh, I'm looking forward to reading the second one. I also own the second one so I have it here and we'll see when I get around to it. But I think it's definitely a four stars, it's definitely that. So, so far it's been a success what I've been picking up this weekend. Um, next book. Lost in the moment and found. I've been looking forward to this one obviously because I usually really enjoy the way we children books I don't have very many books in this series. That's not a four stars at least so I don't know exactly what this one is if it's going into a door I think it might be because I think every other book is sort of uh, exploring a story where we go into someone's door and um, Yeah, so I think this one is that um, so I'll be working on this and I'll let you know what I think of it once I'm done and yeah, see you later, bye. Hey friends, um, for so it just occurred to me that I never did a final update for the Dewey's. Um, 
it's actually Wednesday. I'm about to start editing it and I realized this. Um, but I ended up definitely finishing uh, Lost in the Moment and Found by Siana Maguire. I definitely believe I didn't update. If I did, then I forgot that I did the last update. Um, but I finished this on time and this is another one of those where you go into another world. Um, I mean, in the other ones we have sort of, it is more or less set at the school, the way what children school, but every other book is a book about someone's origin story, how they came to the school uh, for wayward children. And in this one we follow, um, in this one we follow Antoinette, or uh, she prefers to be called something else. Auntie maybe? No. Ants? Auntie. Um, and she, why, well, after she loses her father, um, things start changing around her obviously. Um, she goes through a lot and uh, her mother starts seeing someone else and everything changes at home and um, she has some issues with her stepdad, not really wanting uh, for, for good reasons. The adults in these books are often very not very good. Um, so she ends up escaping and ends up going through a door into a, a store and ends up not being able to go out to her own world again. So she every time she opens a door it's a new world and she has to find things that are lost. And um, yeah, um, so that's her story, and uh, it was it was okay. I I didn't love love it, but I also didn't hate it. I I think it's a four stars. I think I gave it that. Uh, it's not my favorite, but it's still a decent book. Um, it's been a while since I've really been captured, like really been captured by these books, but I seem to enjoy it. it enjoy them every time anyway um so hopefully one of the next books will be do it for me um but i'm very happy with what i ended up reading i definitely read the things that i wanted to read for the jewish readers readathon so i'm happy about that i got everything read of my tbr uh, for april except one book and that was an audio uh actually two books and there were audios both of them and uh, that was because i didn't end up listening to as much audio in april as i usually do because of the Easter break, basically, um, but I'm fine with that. It, it I finished it now, so at least one of them, and um, yeah. Anyway, this was my update, and my final update. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you participated in Duis, and did you, how did you do? Did you li meet your own expectations? Um, let me know about that in the comments below. This was my final update for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in another clip very, very soon. Goodbye.